Um, I'm here in my chicken area and I'm getting ready to plant a banana tree. Um, I just wanted to share a couple things with you today about planting trees and uh, crops inside your chicken area. It may seem a little counterintuitive that they just eat it all up and everything, but if you plant the right thing strategically, um, it could be a, a positive thing you know, for your chickens, uh, getting them just an abundant supply of food all on their own. So I just wanted to show you a couple things I got going on inside the chicken area. So I already have a dwarf everbearing mulberry tree planted in here. Uh, I know from experience in the past that planting something like a mulberry tree inside your chicken area is just a recipe for success because of um, just the nutrient load that they're gonna get uh, is gonna be amazing. Um, couple things about the mulberry tree it is deciduous so it'll have a nice broad leaf coverage to give them shade during the hot summer months um, and in the winter when they drop the leaves allows more sunlight in for them to get a little warmer um, this variety will bear you know few crops during the year it's not just one and I'm sure anything you know we don't get to it's just gonna fall down and the chickens will eat it right up. So looking forward for this guy to start bearing fruit and I'm sure the chickens are too. Over here I have a fig tree. Um, sit here again, fig tree is deciduous so it's going to provide a little bit of shade during the summer for them and uh, while they're sitting underneath the fig tree getting shade they're dropping their manure and fertilizing the fig tree. <clears throat> fig tree is like a lot of organic matter uh, here we have sandy soil that tends to um, be a good habitat for the nematodes, which the figs don't really like. So here again, putting it in the chicken area where I dump a lot of organic matter. Um, and the reason why I have this fig tree caged up is because it's still small and young um, and the chickens could do some damage if they start scratching around it too close and scratching the roots up. So this one's big and established, not too worried about it. The idea behind the banana tree is going to be to just provide more shade. Um, this is already a pretty shady spot, but uh, bananas being heavy feeders, here again the chickens will um, gather underneath the banana for shade and uh, you know deposit all the nutrients for the bananas. So here we go. Something else I wanted to note, I wasn't quite sure what variety of banana this was. Um, the pot was just marked Musa banana, which is kind of just generic. Um, most likely it's probably like a dwarf Cavendish, but that, I have other banana plants to, to uh, get planted out the yard, but I chose this one back here. Like I said, I'm not really, um, you know, too worried about getting fruit off of it or not. Um, so this is why 
this variety is going back here. 